All right, we got a uh, Will Johnson down the middle Tennessee. So, but anyway, we've just now got here, and uh, that's his first find. So, good uh, two prong fork, colonial era. era, era. <laughs> I'll spit it out in a minute. Yeah. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find some uh, flat buttons out here. I know uh, the uh, guy that tends the farm. He come bush hogged it for us yesterday. So it ought to be a pretty good day. All right, now I'm starting to feel like seven videoing all the time. Yeah. He's got a good high tone in the hole. Oh, it may be a 22 bullet, but. Uh, we got fooled. <laughs> yep. It was a good nail. Sounded good. Yep. <laughs> all right, out of this hole right here, I pulled uh, this piece out and. It took us a minute to realize what it was, and then well, it's a spoon bowl, pewter spoon bowl. So, but I'll take it. And then Will, he was right down there and got got a good horse bit. So that's what we're looking for. We'll be back. All right, Will says he's got something round and green. That's always a good sign when you're metal detecting. Point it out again. Yep, right there. Where did you get around? Button. Yep. Cool. Oh, real cool. We got anything on front or just regular flat button? Flat button. Yep. That's great. Good deal. Awesome. Congratulations. Great, thanks. <laughs> He's done it again. What you got there? Man, look at there. It's in situ. In situ. You still got the shank. Doesn't look like it. Oh. That's broken. That's cool. Let's see if there's anything off that. Let me touch one anyway, see. Maybe it'll rub off on me. <laughs> I thought that might have had something on it, but it doesn't. Good deal. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. All right, I've got this neat little target. It's a. I'm on the board with a button, a little cuff button. It is broke, but I'll still take it. Thought I had something on front, but it's just. Corrosion. Wheel strikes again. <laughs> Look at that. A little cuff, but anything on front. Here you go. I got my gloves off. I know how hard it is to take the gloves off. Oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 That's right, like that, <laughs> that was good. But I've got something right here. I don't know what it is. It's a high tone. It looks like it's maybe some ash rolled out or something. Another. I don't know. No, I don't. No, it's not ash. I don't think. No. Right there. Huh. Did it stick to the pinpoint? What is it? That's a little piece of brass or pewter or something. Huh. That's what it was. A little piece of pewter, it looks like. Oh well. All right, right here's a unique find. I've got maybe, this may, may be the third one I found, but it's uh, where they made a bullet. And of course, right there's where they clipped it off. So that's pretty neat. That's the, where the sprue connected to the bullet. 
Sure neat fun. All right, I got a real good high tone, and then uh, it took me a minute to find it, but it rolled back in the uh, hole. I don't know if you can see it there. Get it out. Nice smoke. Sorry about that. See if it's going to zoom in on it. There it goes. Nice little cuff button. No shank. All right, hopefully we'll be back with you. All right, I've got something right here. I've never found anything like it. So it may be a piece of bracelet or something. Not 100% sure. Pretty neat, though. If anybody's got any uh, idea what it is, just please leave a comment. All right, the rain is coming, so uh, I've got to make this quick. Uh, I've already covered the hole back up, and this come out of the hole, and I'm pretty sure that is uh, part to a gun barrel. I'm not 100%, but I'm uh, probably 85, 90% sure that's what that is. I'll have to clean it up a little bit. And of course, it'd be a smooth bore. Uh, maybe a, yeah, it's 50 caliber, yep. You can see the octagon. Exploded gun barrel. Maybe they loaded it twice. For neat fine. All right, uh, it started raining a little bit on us, so me and Will, we uh, made it over to uh, a little bit of woods and uh, was a big tree right there. We were detecting around it, and I got my first good signal and right here. Of course, I've got my phone in a bag. Dad, yeah, blame it, I thought it was a flat. Oh well, paint one of my. I don't know how good of quality this uh, video is going to be because it's still in the, the plastic bag, but I'll do as best I can. We moved out uh, in the field a little bit where the uh, landowner bush hogged some and got the first good signal. It's a little flat button. Got the shank. I'll take it. All right, we're back out on, uh, this is Monday morning, and uh, it's been raining. I mean, I don't know how he's done it, but, of course, you can see the water running through the ditches. Of course, you could tell it was way up in there earlier, and then he was out here digging, but it's paid off, so. Got two big dandy buttons. Both of them's got the shank on it, so good find. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, here's my first uh, find. It's a little cuff button. Rain stopped for a few minutes. So he's still using his uh, GPX, and I just left mine in the truck. I didn't want to take a chance on getting it wet. I don't have a plastic bag for it or nothing, but I ended up just using the Equinox. When it pulled this little cuff button out, All right, uh, the rain stopped for a few minutes. But Will's got a uh, good target. He said it's either a flat button or a shotgun shell. I'm sure he wouldn't be digging shotgun shells. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little. Oh, hurt. Let me see it right there. I'll let you get your phone out. And Yep, that's a tombat. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yep. 1700s all day long. Nice. So, just missing the shank. Very cool. Good deal. Yeah. I thought I might save it for GIP. Oh. Guess not. Yeah. Okay. Well, the rain's got to us a little bit, so we're, uh, we'll felt a little adventurous. And uh, we're going off in this cellar. 
How much? A little bit of water. Not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, right. I forgot about that part. <laughs> oh, that's a part I wanted you to look up in. Yeah. Shine the light over there so they can see it on. Yeah. Will said he was going to climb up in there. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <clears throat> See any moving. Yeah, critter tracks. Yeah. Like some bones. We need, whatever they go to is passed away, so <laughs> we ain't gotta worry about them. Whatever eat it. Man, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Oh neat. Oh my goodness. What? I had no idea when all I was out there. See, I've never really looked because I can't bend my neck. Can you see? Uh -uh. I can't get down far enough. It's uh, 20 feet, maybe. Do you see that? No kidding. Let's see if I can get that on camera. I hit stop record, so I'm going to start it back. Is there another room back there? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Let me put my knee on this rock and see if I can. <clears throat> you see it? I don't want me to take a move. No? Here, let me. Here. Well. I can move out of the spot, that might help you if you... No, I'm fine. No. Okay. I'm sorry about the camera. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Good lord. Why would it be so... I don't know what they stored in there. I mean, you can tell all that uh, rock line going through there. Alright, what do you think? That's totally up to you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how waterproof are they here? Oh, I'm not worried about that. I'll get my feet will get wet. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried about. I can't. There's nothing to fall through to. I hope. No, it's not. I mean, it's, you don't have to worry about that. Salt Okay. Here we go. And the water, the flashlight's waterproof, so you don't have to worry about that.